Hey warriors, and welcome back to the RA Yogi. I'm Julia, your yoga instructor for arthritis. And today's yoga video is a 30 minute seated yoga practice with the use of a sturdy chair, a yoga mat, and maybe you can grab one or two blocks that you might have at home and we'll get started. Let's start at the edge of our chair. Slide forward so that your two sit bones are grounded on your seat and walk the feet forward so the knees are stacked right on top of your heels. Breathe in and breathe out. We'll find our comfortable seat just like we did in my basic series. So get nice and long in the spine. Feel the space that you're creating between each vertebra, lengthening through the crown of the head. You have the option to place the hands, palms facing down or palms facing up. Palms facing down is very grounding and palms facing up or receiving energy from our practice today. Close your eyes and we'll center in. Feel the cool air enter the nostrils and the warm air leave the nostrils. Take a few more mindful breaths here with your eyes closed. And consciously start to release any tension that you might be holding on to in the body. You'll start to let go of any judgments that you might have. Just letting it go for right now and simply coming to the present moment. You can gently float open your eyes. We'll open our practice with one chant of Om. Send your index finger and thumbs together if that's comfortable for the hands and rest your palms facing up in your lap. Om, the universal mantra that connects all of us. Close your eyes, inhale, and exhale. Breathe in for our collective chant of Om. Feel the vibration of our mantra. You can gently float open the eyes and release the fingers. Spread the fingers wide and create a gentle fist one more time and exhale as i mentioned at the beginning of the class this is a 30 minute seated practice for the whole body so we'll start with the head inhale get nice and tall in the spine and exhale gently send your chin down to your chest for a nice stretch in the back of the neck exhale fully Inhale back to center and then exhale gently lift the chin gaze towards where the ceiling and the wall meet so you're not looking too far back just a nice opening in the throat and come back to center inhale and exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Nice side stretch for the neck. Stay for a breath. Soften the shoulders by your sides. And inhale back to center. 
Exhale, left ear to left shoulder, feeling that nice side stretch in the neck. Take a full breath in and out. Inhale, float back to center. And exhale to gently turn the head towards the right, slowly looking over the right shoulder if that's available to you. Don't strain. Just allow yourself to go as far as it's comfortable. Listen to your body throughout this practice because your body knows best. Inhale back to center and exhale to turn your head to the left, gazing over the left shoulder if that's comfortable for you. And inhale to come back to center. Release your palms facing forward in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Ground into the four corners of your feet. Feel the palms reaching down, spread the fingers wide, inhale. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale your arms overhead, reaching the arms up if that's available to you. Listen to your body. If there's no shoulder pain here, keeping your head in line with the spine, hold the arms up. You have the option of also taking cactus arms, which is a nice chest opener. Elbows are bent at 90 degrees and we're lifting the heart. So either one of these postures, breathe in. And then exhale, send your hands back to heart center. Breathe in and mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's go for some sun salutations. Breathe in, reach the arms overhead. And then exhale to fold either halfway like we did before, all the way down. So release the head completely. You can shake your head, yes and no, very mindfully. Shaking the head, yes and no, from side to side. Take your hands to your thighs. Inhale to lengthen the spine once again to come all the way up to protect your lower back and exhale fully at the top. Inhale into Tadasana Mountain Pose and exhale, send your knee into your chest. Right knee comes first, modified lunge. Exhale to lower. Inhale, Tadasana. And exhale, send your left knee into your chest. Keep a nice long spine. We're using our postural muscles. And then exhale, lower back down. Send your arms back behind you for Cobra. Slide forward on your chair, making sure that your sit bones are right on the edge. Lift the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And now we'll gaze towards where the ceiling and the wall meet. Breathe into the heart. And exhale fully. Come back down to center, preparing for downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hinge forward from the hips, looking down, keeping the head in line with the spine. Inhale, the arms up, or take any variation that you'd like with your arms. Remember we have cactus or we have hands to heart. Just feel the nice pull of the belly in towards the spine as you exhale, breathe in. Exhale, pull the belly in and up. Stretching the length of the spine, inhale. And exhale to come back to center. Breathe in, let's flow the arms up. And then exhale to float the arms by your sides. You have the option to come back into mountain or to simply rest the arms in your lap taking a moment to breathe. You can close your eyes and send the shoulders down your back. Take as much time as you need to rest during your yoga practice. 
and always listen to your body and how you feel in this present moment. Things can change from one day to the next, so take any variation of a pose that feels good to you. Next, we'll sit a little bit further back in our chair, making sure that our sit bones are grounded and our lower back is off of the chair. We're using our postural muscles. Our hands can be on our lap or by our sides. Inhale, the left leg forward, sending the heel on the floor, getting a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Inhale, lift the heart, and exhale, hinge from the hips, very mindfully keeping the knee slightly bent, the toes flex towards you, and breathe in and out. Your hands can stay at your hips, on your legs or at your heart center. Breathe in and exhale. We're stretching the back of the leg, the calf, the hamstring. Exhale fully. And then inhale, bend the knee, release the hands to come back to center. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale to extend that left leg long, keeping a micro bend in the knee to avoid hyperextension. Inhale and exhale to hinge mindfully from the hips as we fold forward. You don't have to go far. Listen to your body. You want a dull stretch in the back of your leg. No sharp pain, no tingling, or else come back to your chair and rest and don't take that pose until you feel no pain at all. You can send your hands to your hips as you breathe to your thighs or to your heart. Take two, four, two more mindful breaths in this pose. Inhale. And exhale, relax those shoulders. Inhale to bend the left knee and come back to center. Release the hands down to your lap. Good. Next, we'll take the right knee into the chest. Use your left hand to take the right leg over the left thigh. If this is too high up for you, that's absolutely fine. We're going to modify it. So. This is option one. Keep your right hand under the right knee for support. It's a pure form of stretch. It stretches the glute and the hip. What you can do, mindfully come out of the pose, taking your time, place a block if you'd like in front of your left shin on the height that's high. Make sure it's close enough to your feet. Inhale. Send your right knee into the chest and exhale to come over onto this block. So we're still getting that same form and we're getting a nice opening to the hip. To get a deeper stretch, inhale to lengthen the spine and then exhale to hinge forward to hit the right glute and the hip. So take a few mindful breaths and whichever variation feels best for you. Inhale and exhale. Remember you have different options for your hands. You can keep them at your hips. You can keep them relaxed in your lap or hands to heart center. To come out of this pose, really take your time. Inhale, to sit up nice and straight then make sure you send your knee back in alignment with your ankle, send the knee into the chest and then release the foot back down. We'll take it to the other side. Take a moment to ground both of the feet, breathe in and out. There's no need to rush this practice. Float the eyes open if they're closed and then send your left knee into your chest and then use your right hand on the left foot to take it over the right thigh, flexing the toes towards you if this is available. 
If not, once again, you have option two, and that's perfect. So take your time in whichever option you would like. You can send your left foot to your block that's right in front of your right foot on the highest height. And now you see there's an opening of the left knee and it's opening up the hip. And as soon as we hinge forward from the hips, we'll start to hit the glute. So inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale to hinge forward, taking the hand variation of your choice, whether it's the hips, relax on the legs, or hands to heart center. Take a few mindful breaths. And if it's not feeling good to hinge forward, you can just stay upright. Listen to your body. I say that a lot. It's just a little friendly reminder. Feel the dull stretch in the left glute and the hip. Breathe in and breathe out. Release the hands. Mindfully set the knee in line with the ankle. Send the knee into the chest and release your foot back down. We can remove the block to the side just in case you might need it for another pose. Nice. We're going to come to the edge of the seat and we're going to bend our knees, taking a wide stance. Coming into side angle. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale to send our right forearm to our inner thigh. And then we're going to inhale our arm overhead and get a nice side stretch, still able to rest a little bit with our right arm. Send the shoulders down the back, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to flow back to center. Open the palms. Send your hands in cactus, goddess pose. You can do this standing or seated. Breathe in. Your knees are pointed out to either side. Your feet are pointed out to either side. Your elbows are bent at 90 degrees and our hands are spread wide. Feel your inner goddess or God and exhale to release your hands. Coming into side angle on the other side, breathe in, lengthen the spine. Anytime we're going to make a move, you always want to lengthen the spine. Send your left forearm to the inner thigh and reach your right arm overhead for your side stretch. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in and out. Listen to your body. If this is too much of a side stretch, you have other options. Inhale to come back to center. Another option for a side bend would be to bring your feet right under the knees. Take your right hand and your left hand to your hip. Inhale the right arm overhead. And then exhale, take a gentle side bend. You don't have to go all the way down. Just, you know, give yourself a gentle side stretch if that feels good for the spine. They have the option of taking it on the other side, inhaling the left arm up, and then exhaling, taking a gentle bend to the right. Connect to your breath. Next, we'll come into a forward fold. We're going to lengthen the legs in front of us, bending the knees, slightly into a micro bend. Make sure that you're at the edge of your chair and that your chair is steady on the ground as you start to hinge forward. We're going to walk our hands down the legs, avoiding any sensitive areas like the knee joints, and lift the heart. You can gaze down towards your feet. Make sure that you have a steady surface underneath you so your legs are not slipping. If you feel more comfortable, you can stay up here and just hinge from the hips. 
And if you feel okay with walking the hands down the legs, that's perfect too. Now once you come down, you can choose to keep the head in line with the spine and gaze down towards the flex toes or to release the head completely. When you're ready to come out of the pose, very slowly walk the hands up the shin, up the thighs, bend the knees and come back to center. Let's take a counter pose. So a counter pose comes directly after the first pose that we took to complement it. Place the hands on either side of our chair. Make sure it's nice and stable. Send your feet right underneath the knees. Let's send them a little bit further out to protect the knee joints. Inhale, press into our arms and lift the hips off the chair. You can send your head back if you have no cervical spine injuries. The gaze behind you, lift the hips. And when you're ready, you can slowly take yourself back to your seat using a little bit of arm strength there, our core. And then settle back at the edge of your seat with your knees bent, grounding your breath. You can float, open your eyes. We're going to take our time for this next pose. We're coming into a hip flexor stretch. Turn all the way to the right side, keeping our right thigh on the chair and our left leg will bend behind us. You can simply observe and then decide if this is a good pose for you or not. Walk the heel in front so it's in line with your knee. As you can see, my left knee is bent, my right knee is bent, and my hips are facing towards the right. You can keep your hand to your hip and start to pull the tailbone under. So we're not creating an extension, we're actually creating a nice little um, curve inward to really feel the hip flexor stretch. Breathe in, keeping your right hand to your chair for stability, and breathe out. You're up on the toes, the balls of the feet. Breathe in and just take a moment to stretch the hip flexors until it's no longer comfortable. We're actually going to take our left hand to the middle of our seat and step that left foot to meet the right. You can scoot forward on your chair. So we're seated sideways facing the right side. Breathe in, get nice and tall with the spine and then exhale. We're going to turn towards the top of our chair. So your hands might come to the top of the chair. They might not. So just listen to your body. You don't want to go too far into a twist if it doesn't feel right. Lengthening as we inhale lengthening up towards the crown of the head and exhaling, releasing the air from the belly. Inhale to slowly move back to the right side. And then we'll take our time to come back to center to face one another on the edge of our seat. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a moment just to check in with yourself and notice how you feel. Then we'll take it to the other side. Going to the left now. Right over our chair and our right leg is off of the chair. So just move around to find your comfort your left arm and hand are on the back of the chair. Bend this right leg and make sure that your left heel is underneath your knee. Hand can come to your hip here again. And we wanna focus on not lifting the heart, we wanna pull in the belly and feel the stretch in our hip flexor. So let's try to notice the difference of what that feels like. Lifting the heart and then we're actually scooping the tailbone in. So breathe in 
and breathe out. You can keep the hand on the belly or the hip to notice what it should feel like in the hip. Take your time, try to soften a little bit. I know it might seem strange the first time that you come into this pose, but you wanna feel comfortable. When you're ready, send your right hand to the middle of your seat and help yourself to swing the right foot to meet the left. You can scoot forward to be comfortable on the side of your seat. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, allow the hands to fall where they end up. No pressure. Lengthen the spine as you inhale and exhale, release the air from the belly, twist. Inhale gently to come back to the left side and then we'll move back to center. Before we come into final relaxation, I'll have you sit back in your chair, slide all the way back so your lower back is supported by the back of your chair. Maybe you've heard of happy baby. If you have a yoga strap around, you can take it and place it over the right foot. If not, you can take your right leg across the left and take your peace fingers around your big toe. If this is available to you, keep a nice tall posture and send your right leg out into half happy baby and allow yourself to lean back in your chair and rest. This is a hip opener. If it doesn't feel comfortable for your big toe, you can come back slowly. Send your hand around the outside of your right foot, lengthen the spine, and then come into half happy baby. Bend your right elbow, lean back, open up your hip. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, we're not going to slingshot out of the pose. We're just gonna send the leg over the left to begin and then release it back down to the earth. Come back to your chair, release the lower back, palms facing up toward the sky. Take a few mindful breaths before we take happy baby on the other side. Open your eyes, send your left leg over your right and take which option feels good to you. Opening up the left hip. Lean back. Remember, no slingshot out of the pose. Take your time to send the left leg back over the right and then take your time to release it back down. Shavasana, final relaxation. I really wanna give you many options. So you can either come down to your seat, keep your knees bent with your feet flat on the floor, palms facing up in your lap, close your eyes. This is option one for Shavasana. Option two, you can release your legs allowing your legs to extend and the feet to open up to the sides and relax. You can try each variation and notice what feels best for you. If you prefer to take Shavasana on your mat, lying down on your back, that's also an option for you. Let's get settled in. Feel your lower back supported by your chair or the mat. Palms are facing up towards the sky, absorbing all of the benefits of our practice today. Observe your breath as it flows in and out of the nostrils. Take as much time as you'd like in final relaxation. When you're ready to come out of final relaxation, start to float, open the eyes. You can wiggle the toes and the fingers to bring awareness back to the movements of our body. 
option to make circles with the wrists to one side and the other. Take your time, there's no rush. And then maybe making a circle with the ankle to one side and the other. I prefer to do one at a time and keep my knee bent on the other side so I have more stability while I'm sitting in my chair. And then the other side, just rolling the ankle in circles to one side and the other, bringing awareness back to the body. When you've completed your circles, you can gently move to the edge of your seat once again, just like we started. You can send the palms facing up or down in your lap, lengthen your spine, close your eyes and notice how you feel. Hey warriors, I hope that you enjoyed this 30 minute seated yoga video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The RA Yogi, for more free yoga videos for arthritis, content, and resources. Namaste.